Let's continue now in our AP series with D5, Corrective Action. Based on what we learned from one or more of the root cause tools, we'll decide on what the top three most likely root causes are. And then for each root cause, identify corrective actions. Now by definition, a corrective action is any action to eliminate the cause of a detected nonconformity or other undesirable situation. It is good practice to describe in detail the corrective action because commonly this is handed off to someone else in the organization to implement. It can be combined with D7 if appropriate, but I want to caution that while D5 is corrective action, D7 is preventive action. Those are two very different activities, but in some cases it may make sense to combine them. Now looking at D6, implementation and verification, we have our corrective actions listed and from that, we want to identify the best means of verifying root cause. Some tools available to us to do that are design of experiments, hypothesis testing, component swapping, correlation or regression analysis, on-off switching, two-key quick test, and of course what we're trying to do is verify root cause. Now for this demonstration, we'll focus on the two-key quick test, and we'll go over to Excel to see how uh, this plays out. So in Excel, I'm here on tab D5, and what I'm going to do is list the first likely root cause and its corrective action, and the second likely root cause and its corrective action, and then the third as well. And that's really it for D5. Now, in my book, I do describe 30-some-odd uh, different methods for coming up with corrective actions, and so I encourage you to uh, look through that to see if uh, there's help there that can be uh, of use to you. In terms of the template though, we'll just click on Next and that brings us over to tab D6 and then the first step of course is to uh, identify the three corrective actions from D5 so that will just, uh, those uh, solutions will just move over here. Then in step two we want to uh, pick the method by which we're going to verify root cause so you've just seen this list back in the slide set. I've on, added on here some control charts and sampling. Uh, we're going to look at the Tukey Quick Test though, so let's see how that, um, how that works. We're going to select eight samples from the process with the defect. So for sample set one, we have eight samples, and here they are. And then for the parameter of interest, we'll record that here, and then declare whether or not that particular part is good or bad. And we'll change that here so that you can just pull that drop down now. So for now, we'll leave it at bad. And then we'll implement the first corrective action from the list above and we'll go and select uh, eight more samples from the process. So this is sample set two and eight samples. The parameter of interest will be recorded here and again we'll record whether or not that particular part was good or bad. Then once that's complete we will do a, a count and the way we do the counts is this. Starting at sample one number one, so sample set one number one, we want to move down this list and count the number of consecutive bad units. So in this case we have one, two, three, and we record that here. Then beginning at sample set two, number 16, we want to count the number of consecutive good units. And we'll do that now. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we record that here. That gives us a total end count of 10, seven plus three, 10. And what it's saying is based on an end count of 10, we can be 99% confident that the corrective action put in place addressed the root cause. Now, if that solution is not uh, sufficient and the end count does not give us confidence, then we would repeat this process, uh, but we would implement now the second corrective action and we would repeat this. And if that was not sufficient, we would go to number three. So that's it for D5 and D6. I would encourage you to go to sixsigma.org. The 8D template is out there. It's a free download. And also, I would encourage you to look through our ebook, The Eight Disciplines Problem Solving Methodology. It gives uh, more detailed instruction on each of the disciplines and some uh, tips and tricks and ideas on how to execute on each of the, uh, each of the disciplines in 8D. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.